wastewater treatment plan, which is aiming to eliminate harmful constituents from the wastewater, ensures that the water body will continue to serve as a suitable habitat for plants and animals. This animation will show what the layout of such a wastewater treatment plant is and how it works. The layout of this conventional wastewater treatment plant is as it follows, primary mechanical treatment, secondary biological treatment, and advanced treatment. Screening is the first operation unit used in wastewater treatment plants. The aim is to remove the undesirable solids from water as far as possible. Solids are removed from the flow by two basic treatment mechanisms. First one is direct straining of all particles larger than the screen openings and the second one filtering of smaller particles by straining flow through the matrix of solids already deposited on the screen. The grid chamber is a basin meant to remove inorganic particles, therefore preventing damage to the pumps and also their accumulation in the slide digester. The two grid chambers are designed as horizontal flow. Each of them is 1 meter wide, 12 meters long, 0.8 meters high. The surface load is chosen as 17 meters per hour. With this arrangement, 90% of all grains larger than 0.2 millimeters will be removed. The primary sedimentation tank is the final mechanical treatment step. The main functions are removal of organic solids, retention of floating substances, and pre-thickening and temporary storage of removed sludge. The primary sedimentation tank is designed in a rectangular shape. The dimensions are 16 meters long, 4 meters wide, and 1.6 meters high. The surface loading is 6 meters per hour. The bioreactor is designed in a pre denitrification mode. Two lines are used for the bioreactor. Each of them consists of two denitrification tanks and one aeration tank. Steelers are installed in the denitrification tank in order to achieve a sufficient mixing of bacteria and wastewater. The aeration system is present both in the aeration tank and in the second denitrification tank. At the end of the processes in the bioreactor, iron sulfate is added to remove phosphorus. In winter, when temperature is too low for nitrification, the second denitrification tank could be changed to aeration tank in order to enhance nitrification. The circular secondary sedimentation tank has a design height of 3.7 meters and a diameter of 21 meters. The ratio of return sludge flow is 75% and the thickening time is 2 hours. The excess sludge will then be pumped to the digester. The effluent will be discharged to the water body after further advanced treatment steps. 